Hey, this is Linus, what's up? So today I wanted to talk about the Lenovo Zug Z2, the phone that was released like 8 months ago and it used to cost over 300 bucks, but right now you can get it for just around 170 or 180 bucks. So the reason why I'm making the second review of this phone is that I think it's one of the best deals you can get at the moment. Stay tuned. So for the price of around 180 bucks, you're getting a phone that has a Snapdragon 820 chip, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. In my opinion, these are one of the best specs you can get for the price. Sure, there are some newer chips out there, but Snapdragon 820 is still a capable processor that can handle anything you throw at it. You can play 3D games, you can navigate through the user interface without any issues, you know, there are no lags, no hiccups whatsoever. The only complaint would be that there is no micro SD card slot for storage expansion, but I believe that 64GB is plenty of storage to store a lot of stuff. As far as the design goes, the phone comes in two different colors, black and white. Well, it's always subjective, but I believe the white model looks a lot better than the black one. I love that the Zug Z2 is a compact phone due to its 5 inches 1080p display, which is sharp and vibrant, but the problem with that is that it could be a little bit brighter to ensure a better sound like legibility. Also we have a Gorilla Glass 4 on the front and rear. A great thing is that the phone has a some sort of anti-fingerprint coating and it does a pretty good job. I love the fact that all the buttons and the dual SIM card tray is on the right and all other stuff is on the bottom, thus other sides of the phone look clean. The sound quality from the loudspeaker is pretty good, but nothing we haven't heard from similarly priced phones. An 8 megapixel shooter is here for selfies along with the notification LED light. On the bottom we have just a one physical home button, but it has a lot of features. First of all, you can physically press it and it takes you home. Also, you can tap it and it acts as a back button or swipe it from left to right for example if you want to access your recent apps. Also, the button is highly customizable and you can assign different tasks. I have to say that this is one of the best home button implementations I've ever seen. Last but not least, we have a fingerprint scanner, which is accurate and it reads the fingerprint straight from the standby mode. On the back, we have a 13 megapixel shooter with f2.2 aperture and a single LED flash. Overall, the phone is well built, it feels nice in the hand and it spars some flashy worthy materials in the construction. When it comes to the user interface, there are two different versions. The one I reviewed like 8 months ago shipped with a Chinese ROM that had quite a bit of bloatware and no Google services. The one I got from the Banggood.com ships with a fully deploated ZUI ROM that is built on top of Android 6.0. First of all, I love that the UI looks clean and it is fast and fluid. Also, there are some extra features and customization options. Besides the ability to do a lot of stuff by just swiping on the home button, you can swipe from the bottom to open up quick settings toggles, which are highly customizable too. Well, it would be great to have Android 7 on this ROM, but honestly, I really love it and so far it looks a lot better than the Chinese ROM. When it comes to the image quality, the Zug Z2 can take some nice looking daylight images with a good amount of detail, accurate looking colors and sharpness. The camera starts struggling in lower lit situations as the images have quite a lot of noise and less detail, still you can get some usable images out of this phone. Right now I'm shooting in 4K resolution with the Zug Z2. This is handheld footage. The 4K video looks pretty good for a $180 phone. However, the footage could have less noise and there are some compression artifacts. An 8 megapixel selfie snapper can take some decent looking selfies for social media needs. Overall, the Zug Z2 does not have a perfect camera, but it is definitely one of the best cameras in a $180 phone. 
I didn't have any connectivity issues with this device as the signal reception was good and the call quality was decent. Also the Wi-Fi worked fine and the GPS was accurate. The Zug Z2 ships with a 3500 mAh built-in battery and it performs great. I could constantly get over 5 hours of screen on time on a mixed use which involved using camera, browsing the web, a little bit of gaming and so on. The phone ships with a fast charger and I was able to fully charge the phone in about 1 hour and 30 minutes. So there we have it, the Zug Z2 after 8 months. With the recent price drops, I honestly believe that this is one of the best phones you can buy. Sure, it has a few shortcomings to consider but given the fact that it has really powerful internals, great and compact design, the Zug Z2 is a fantastic offering for about 180 bucks. It was Linus, thanks for watching and if you guys have any questions about the Zug Z2, please drop me a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, please share your opinion about the Zug Z2 and please follow TechLineHD on social media, like on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. See you soon.